एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू दर वीडियो ऑफ जीनस अकेडमी सो फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव इन लर्निंग अबाउट द जिक्स एंड फिक्चर्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द लोकेशन प्रिंसिपल एंड द डिफरेंट क्लैम्पिंग डिवाइसेज नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द जिक्स द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द जिक्स द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ द ट्रिल जिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स वेन एवर अ जिक इज देयर यू जस्ट नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट the jig is suitable for clamping the work piece as well as locating the cut, uh, cutting tool so that is the you know basic function of the jig over here friends you can see this is a box type drill jig okay this is the box type drill jig and now let's understand the requirements of a drill jig means it should be quick and accurate location of the work pieces for the location it is there are guiding pins over here this is guiding pin pins okay uh, provided the loading of the work piece into this jig should be easy so that's why over here this is latch is provided okay and uh, this is a swinging type uh, uh, leaf jig prevention of wrong loading a jig should be designed in such a way that it should prevent the wrong loading of the work piece into the jig so that's why over here this is a a pin is there okay a guide pin is there which is a uh, like a cylindrical type prevention of the bending moment of the work piece during the drilling operation during the drilling okay so the there should not be any bending of the work piece inside a drill jig there should be a chip clearance okay so whenever a work piece gets rested on this uh, particular drill jig there will be a clearance and from this clearance the extra chips or burrs will get cleared out the facility of swarf removal and cleaning this particular swarf is nothing but the small small you know uh, powder form metal chips in powder form it is known as a swarf there should be a facility of swarf removal and cleaning in this drill jig a jig should be lightweight and prevent loss of parts by using chains there should be a clearance for overshoot of the drill okay uh, there should be sufficient clearance for overshoot of the drill so these are nothing but the basic requirements of the drill jig general considerations in the design of the drill jig a jig must be strong enough to withstand all the cutting forces okay it should resist the deflection while cutting the work must be also supported so that it does not bend under the drilling pressure so that we have seen cast iron is generally used because it absorbs and shocks the compressive forces this particular jig it is made up of the cast iron as this particular cast iron like uh, it absorbs the vibrations and uh, it is very very hard so you know ultimately the life of the jig gets increased just because of this material that is cast iron so whenever a drilling will be there there will be the formation of this segmental chips type of the chip that is the segmental chips and continuous chip this is a chip tangle that is a continuous kind of a chip whenever you are going to drill into the hard work pieces or brittle work pieces okay there the formation of the chip will be this segmental chip whenever the work piece is very very ductile material or having a high tensile strength then the formation of the chip will be this kind of you know continuous chips will be there so that's why oh uh, you know a sufficient clearance should be there a sufficient gap should be there okay this gap for uh, the chip removal and that should be taken into consideration while designing of the drill jig so a jig can be manufactured by any of the following method machining forging casting welding okay this particular jig can be manufacturing by machining forging casting welding so friends i have made all the videos regarding you know forging casting and welding so if you go through my channel you will came across all of this uh, you know different machining techniques normally the jigs are made up of the hardened steel which is nothing but the cast iron which are wear resistance corrosion resistance and thermally sensitive their dimensional accuracy directly influences the accuracy and the performance of the operation means this dimensional accuracy it means in this particular jig the hole diameter 
it affects the ultimate hole which is going to be drilled in the workpiece so ultimately it should be dimensional accurate so moving ahead next is nothing but the types of drill jigs now these jigs are classified into two main categories plate type jig that is open jigs and closed or box type jig so open jigs are used for the simple operations so work is done only on one side of the part whereas one side of the part over here work is done whereas in this closed type jig work is done in a different tire sides on more than one side so over here we can carry out the drilling operation also we can carry out drilling operation here horizontally so this is the you know box type jig so let's explore the different different types of the jigs so first is nothing but the template jig that we have seen here plate type jig swinging lift jigs box angle plate and pot jigs these are the six different types that we are going to learn in our today's video. First is template drill jig. Very very simpler in construction. It is a simple plate made up of the metal or wood which is having a holes at a correct location. This particular template is very very profile. Outer profile of the template is suitable for the which is same as that of the workpiece outer template. The size of the template jig as same as that of the workpiece. The plate serves as a template. This particular plate serves as a template and which is fixed and overlapped on the workpiece and then drilling is done very quickly. So it is very very simple in construction. There is no loading of the workpiece into the jig. It is very simple. So over your friends you can see this is the different different templates type drill jigs. Okay. So this particular it is suitable for you know drilling like over here the part is inserted into this particular recess okay this part is insert inserted in this uh, template drill jig this is having a hole okay so it gets fitted in this particular part so that we can drill on these four sides over here this particular drill jig is having a small you know step is provided now this step will get fit into the recess the part is having and then we can carry out the drilling. So these are the different different templates we have seen. Moving ahead next is nothing but the plate drill jig. So friends in this template type drill jig there were no bushings okay to guide the drill. Over here in case in this case plate, tri plate type jig there are bushings provided. All of these bushes are provided. So jig bush is incorporated in the plate in this case. It consists of a single bush plate with the provision of location and clamping of workpiece. Over your friends, here it is a locating and as well as the clamping is done by this particular hand knobs. So this plate drill jig, it is suitable for the mass production. Here is also this uh, workpiece gets fitted into this particular clamps. Over here the hand knobs is provided and then by into this drill jigs the drilling operation is carried out where it is very uh, you know easy loading and unloading of the workpiece the chip removal by providing the clearance between the plate and work over here the parts are stacked one above the another for drilling at one time moving ahead next is nothing but the leaf or latch type jig this particular leaf or latch type jig it is open in construction over here it is a fulcrum is there over here this is a latch is provided which is at this particular point there is a slot okay okay this is my hand knob so this particular latch gets fully open into this direction okay and uh, workpiece gets fits inside this this is my workpiece drill bushes are provided over here and we can carry out the drilling operation a uh, point b over here this is the clamping uh, work workpiece gets clamped uh you know and on the opposite side here is a locator workpiece is clamped against this locator that point we have seen in this uh, principle of location and the clamping so this is a box type drilling jig having a leaf or latch type so this particular part gets opened fully now let's uh, see the model of this uh, latch jig now this is a particular model of this latch jig 
these are all the drill bushes provided over here this is the latch this particular point here is my workpiece this particular latch gets fully open and it will be swing from this particular fulcrum so that's why it is known as the leaf or latch type drilling jig now this particular jig is suitable for the you know uh, a complex kind of the work pieces which is having a very complex geometry so that was about the leaf and latch type drill jig so this is the you know uh, diagram of the latch type jig over here this is the fulcrum point okay this my jig plate gets swing over here in this direction and this is also another fulcrum point by you know losing this hand knob will move on upward side and then we uh, this particular hand knob will go downwards we can open this plate up and then we can fit our workpiece this workpiece into this latch jig very very simple in construction quick loading of the workpiece into this jig is possible just because of this latch Moving ahead next is nothing but the box drill jig. As we have seen at the beginning of this video, this box type drill jig, it is, you know, suitable for carry out the drilling operation on the multiple faces. So this particular drill bushes are provided over here through which we can carry out drilling operation at the bottom. Also, there is a drill jig. We can carry out drilling operation from here also. So whenever a burr gets formed, this particular burr will get, you know, out from this swarf clearance. Over here, here is a latch is provided by using this hand knob. Okay, this plate will move from the upward side. The workpiece gets fit inside this jig and then it is clamped by this particular clamp on the top or we can call it as a wing nut, simple wing nut. Then we can carry out the drilling operation also friends over here on the in the top view you can see these are the bushings from all the different four sides these are provided so this particular box jig is suitable for carry out the drilling operation on the multiple faces of the workpiece so it is fully enclosed type drill jig over here friends you can see this is the diagram so whenever you see a push is there through which the drilling operation will get carried out. So these are all the points that we have covered in the previous slide that is box type drill jig. So moving ahead next is nothing but the angle plate jig. This angle plate jig as the name itself says that the, uh, whenever we need to carry out the drilling operation in the 90 degree position means the drill bit will come from this side. Okay from this particular bush it will come so the center locator has a groove for the passage of the drill after passing through the workpiece over here this center this is the locator through which this my circular workpiece is there and uh, it is having you know a grooved kind of a slot into which this workpiece will get fit and now we can carry out the drilling on this particular workpiece at 90 degree over here friends you can see this is this is a c type uh, locator or c type washer or hexagonal screw is provided for the clamping purpose so this is nothing but the angle plate jig so you can see bush is provided from here over here this is nothing but the diamond pin from this and this side for both the sides this one this one over here this is the diamond pin a C type washer is provided for quick clamping. So whenever there will be the C type washer, you just need to understand there is will be the quick clamping. And uh, the workpiece, this dotted one is the workpiece. This particular from this bushings, my drill bit will come inside and carry out the drilling operation at 90 degrees. So this is nothing but the angle plate jig. This is the 3D model of the angle plate jig. Over here, this is my workpiece okay the my washer and hexagonal screw is there okay so over here the drilling is carried out from this particular bush 
from this particular bush the drilling gets carried out so i hope you understand this uh, simple angle grid jig and the friends the, the last one is nothing but the pot drill jig so over here this particular jig plate okay this jig plate is looks like somewhat like pot so it is no so that's why it is known as the pot drill jig so over here the drill bit will come from this side okay so for this drilling operation on the workpiece and over here these are the recesses provided for you know this drill chips will get thrown out from this particular recess or we can call it as a, there will be the slots as you can see over here here these are the small small slots are provided now this particular all the slots are aligned with the help of the locating pin over here so this will be my locating pin and in the center there will be a stud clamping stud and on the top there is a hand knob so we can you know tighten this hand knob and carry out the drilling operation on this rotating workpiece basically friends this pot drill jig is suitable for the circular work pieces on the top here this one is nothing but a C, C type clamp C type washer it uh, you know it provides a better grip better clamping in this type of the drill jig the workpiece is located from its outside bush so workpiece is located with this particular locating pin to position the drill plate with the respect to the swath clearance or grooves this locating pin over here this will be my workpiece this will be the workpiece over here you can see so we can carry out the drilling operation on this uh, to different different uh, positions now this is mainly suitable for the different different flanges over here friends you can see this is a pot type drilling jig so drilling will be carried out through these dif three different different holes over here the sea washer is there for the clamping a hand knob is there and locating is done through this particular pin the recesses will be there at the incline degree so whenever a drilling will be carried out from this point the chips will come out from this point so these are you know the different different slots now this particular pot type drilling jig is mainly suitable for circular workpiece. So friends, uh, so far we have learned about the different types of the jigs. I hope um, I have clarified all the different points regarding the jigs. And in case of any queries, any doubts, please feel free to comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel Genus Academy.